Whoa, look at the girth on that. Just look at this thing. Hey guys, hope you're all having a fantastic week. So by request, um, I'd had somebody ask uh, basically a bit more um, about the 3D glasses. Um, and I've had a few people inquire because I, I don't actually use the um, the main Sega 3D glasses um, because they were basically they were made in the uh, the 1980s for kids. And uh, obviously our heads um, are much bigger than children's. And that's why you always see on eBay um, 3D glasses for sale um, that are, you know, one of the arms has broken um, because, you know, Years later, people have tried to put them on and have broken them. So it was actually a friend of mine, Alan, um, basically suggested buying a pair of these. You can get these on eBay. They're shipped from the US. I think they're, they're basically shutter glasses um, that do the same job. They fit the Master System adapter, which I'll explain what that is in a moment. And you get them shipped in from America. And yeah, shipped... They cost me about 17, 18 quid, something like that, I think. Might have been a tiny bit more, not much more. Uh, and they do a great job. So, yeah, so it's going to be a, an idiot's guide. So for this, you are going to need one of these. Um, you might see just the corner up there of my um, 4K TV. That will not work. You must have a CRT. Um... So that's the first thing you absolutely have to have. The second thing is a Model 1 Master System power base. If you've got the Master System 2 or you emulate, again, this will not work. So the final thing and the question that I was kind of asked was about this. And this is the Sega 3D adapter. And it fits into the um, the card reader. You can see the the, the metal elements there, um, and I'll show you how that works. Um, you will also need a kind of obvious uh, a three D game in particular. I'll try not to jog the camera too much for you guys. So um, so yeah, let's give that a go now. Then so what you need to do. I'm just going to turn this off quickly. You need to insert the 3D adapter into the card reader like that. You then are taking these 3D glasses out of the packaging. I like to try and keep my stuff as nice as I can, but I, I do use everything. Um, sorry, not doing a very good job of keeping the camera very straight, am I? So we're going to put them where we are sat. And this jack goes into the 3D adapter. And then Pop our game in as you would usually. And I'll turn the volume up for the hard of hearing, perhaps. And that is going to look very dodgy to you guys on the telly, but. I'm just going to check they're working and then I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so these are quite old and unfortunately not working first time. So they do need sometimes a little bit of encouragement.
There we go. So, won't be any use to you guys watching. However, you might see the glasses are flickering. They're shutter glasses, so they're effectively doing kind of what a camera does, basically, uh, with a shutter. And that, that lens does it as well. And it tricks your eyes when a certain, you know, game is on the screen. It tricks your eyes into thinking that it's coming out at you ever so slightly. So, I'm not going to play the game as such because it's not really going to do you guys any good at all to be able to see what's going on. And it... It's quite early technology in doing this sort of thing. Um, but for back then, it was quite impressive. And these were these were designed by Mark Cerny, uh, of now of PlayStation, of course. And I'm rubbish at terrible at this game. But there is the 3D effect there. Anyway, guys, so. So in a nutshell, that is basically how you use 3D glasses. And just to show you guys again, that's the pair I like to use because they fit my head. But you do need a Master System 1, a Sega 3D glasses adapter, and of course the CRT. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Just a, a short little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up.